When creating your portfolio, you are going to need to embed your blog reflections from your Google Blogger blog into your Google site. Now, unfortunately, even though both products are Google products, you can't easily or quickly embed your blog into your Google site directly. There's a little bit of a workaround. So in your instructions for your portfolio, um, right here it says to embed your re blog reflection to your Google site portfolio. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to copy what's in pink here, this URL, and then you're going to go to your Google site page and you're going to insert more gadgets, and then add a gadget by URL. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So right here is my Google site. And here's the page that I want to add my blog reflection. So I'm going to edit the page. And I'm going to go up to Insert, More Gadgets, and Add Gadget by URL. Now, this is the spot where I'm going to add in that big, long URL. So I'm going to paste that in, and again, you'll get this from the instruction page. Then I'm going to say Add. The next thing it does is it, this is where I'm going to add the URL for my blog. So I'm going to show you my blog right now. Here it is, and notice this is the URL, mdhero.blogspot.com. This is just my overall blog. I want to make sure that I get my post. So right here, if this is the post that I want to include, I'm going to click on the title for this post, and this is the URL that I'm going to paste into my Google site now. So back in my Google site, I'm going to add the URL, and the title I'm going to change, I'm going to call this 6.3 Reflection, and it has a height and width and height chosen for me. I like having the width at 100%. The height is going to vary based on your blog. And when you're first starting out, you're going to just kind of have to guess what the height will be. And you may want to go in and change it later. But it is important um, if the height is not tall enough for your blog post to check this top box to include, include a scroll bar on the gadget when necessary. You can include a border that's up to you or display the title. I'm going to change the name of this title again to 6.3 Reflection. Now I'm going to say OK, and I really don't see anything yet, I just see this gray box. That's because we're still in the editing view, and when you are in the editing view, you can't see your gadgets that you've added. So I'm going to press Save up at the top right of my screen, and here you can see my blog. But notice my blog is kind of short. This is what 400 pixels look like, and all I can really see is the top or the title of my blog. So and my blog is pretty long. I have to scroll down to see all of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and edit it by editing the page, clicking on the pencil. Then when I click on my gadget, I'm going to click on this little gear at the bottom for the properties. And here I can change the height. So I know that I've at least probably want 1,000, 2,000 might be good. So I'm going to change the height in both spots. Oh, it won't let me go that far. Oh, it's too big. 2,000. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to press OK, and then I'm going to press Save. After you press Save, you may just see a blank white box, and that is because Google Sites are a secure site, so it's HTTPS. The blogs in Blogger are just HTTP, so when this happens in Google Sites, it might end up being blank, but you'll see this little shield up at the top right of your Omnibox. If you click on that shield, Say load unsafe scripts. Really, they're not unsafe, but Google just thinks they are because there's not an S on the blog website. So if I click that, now I will be able to see my site. And you can see that if I scroll down on my page, my blog all fits. It's not totally to the bottom, but that's of the page itself, but that's totally fine. I have other stuff there, and we can scroll if your um, blog post is not is too long. Um, but 400 might be a little bit short to start out with. So that is how you are going to embed your blog post. So again, on the assignment instructions, you're going to go to Google Site, insert more gadgets, add gadget by URL, and you're going to add this URL. This is going to allow you to host or basically to show your blog post. Um, then you're going to add it to your page with the URL of your specific blog post, but be sure to add the S to the HTTP 
Um, so here's an example. This is just without the S. Here I've added in the S. So um, if you have any questions, be sure to um, ask us. Thanks.